Welcome back. All right, so I have here some freshly cut out circles. Um, and I must tell you, I need a little hand jiggle because my hands get very sore after using these scissors, okay? So at any time, definitely take a break, move those hands, move those fingers, give them a nice little stretch, okay? So you should have five of these circles cut out by now. And I have five of those cut out right now. And I also took that break to actually color in my, my body, my head, and the tulip-shaped piece. Try to get it off the table. Um, I colored them all yellow because that's going to be kind of like the, the main color of my bird, okay? So at this point, I'm going to show you what I have in front of me. I'm going to bring the screen back down. We have um, the five circles here. We have our yellow head and tulip shaped tail and the little body here, okay? And so what we're going to do next is we are going to start working to assemble our little bird here, okay? So remember that we are going back to our main picture here. And in order to start that, what we're gonna need is we're gonna need that blue piece of paper, okay? Because we're gonna start assembling our bird on top of that blue piece of paper. So I'm gonna grab that here. And this is the one with, you can see a little bit better if I hold it up. Um, this is the one that you can use a stick outside if you want or you can draw a branch here if you want, okay? And I have chose today just to draw a branch just because it's a little bit dewy outside and a little bit wet. Um, and I also only have a glue stick to be using today, and so if I had a hot glue gun, I would definitely be using um, potentially a real stick, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I am actually going to get my glue stick, and I am now going to Fold my five circles that I have. So these are the five circles that we have. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold them in half, okay? And something that we say in sewing class is you are going to fold them nice to nice. And that means that you are going to be folding the colored side to the colored side, okay? So there you go again. What you want to do is you want to bring the edge of the circle. You want to bring it over the other edge of the circle. Create a nice little line there. Press it together. And then when you open it up, it should kind of have like this little, kind of creates like this little butterfly, little V. Okay. So I'm going to do that with the rest of mine. Here's the orange one. I'm going to fold it nice to nice. And so that just means that I'm not going to be folding the white parts together, okay? So I should be stacking those up. Um, the, the incorrect way, and what I'm saying is, um, what we don't want to do is we don't want to do have all of our beautiful colors on the outside, okay? Because we want to save some of those colors to be shown on our bird. And so that's why on the outside, when we have our just half moon here, it is white on both sides, but on the inside, it's that beautiful pattern that we have there, okay? So that's three. There's four. There's my heart one. And there is five. Awesome, okay. I'm going to bring you back down to the table so hopefully you can see a little bit better what I'm working on. Um, what I'm going to start with, I'm actually going to start with the bird body. And what we're going to be doing next is we're going to be gluing the backs, so the white parts, so half of the white part on one, half the part on the other, and you're gonna glue them together, okay? So again, what you're gonna do is you are gonna pull up um, half of one, so this is the half of the, squ the um, square one that I colored that's blue, and this is half of the other that's the heart one that I colored, okay? 
And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to overlap them and I'm going to glue the ones that are overlapped um, together. So I'm going to grab my glue stick here. I'm just going to glue one side. I'll bring you back down so you can see the table in just a minute. I wanted to show you while I'm up here. Okay. So I have glued it together. So there's no glue on this back portion because I only glued one half of the circle. Okay. Does that make sense? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the next one, which is this beautiful polka dotted one that's orange. And I can add it here. So glue the back of this one, add it to the blue one, and then I'll be, I'll keep adding, keep adding to create more and more layers. Okay. So bring it back down so you can see a little bit better, see the hands in motion. I'm going to use my glue stick here. I'm going to glue one side of the circle. I'm going to attach it to one of the sides that's already on there. And this might be confusing, so definitely feel free to ask a friend or um, a caregiver or a parent for some help, okay? I'm going to get my green one. I'm going to try to do my green one with my orange one, just so I'm kind of alternating colors because I don't want all my oranges and my pinks and reds to be together, um, just because that can be a little bit much. Now on the last one, I am only still using one side to glue just to adhere it, so this whole side doesn't have glue on it yet. But in order to create kind of like the whole structure here, um, I am going to glue, let's see. So eventually we will be adding that on to our bird body. And so instead of gluing this together in a circle, um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue the back of the two white sides that are still facing out and we are gonna put it onto our yellow bird, okay? And you should be able to press that down, make sure that the other glue isn't tacked down for some reason, but you should be able to fold individuals so that they should um, kind of all be seen at different times, okay? So this so far is what I have here. Can you see that? have some here too okay all right next up what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to glue the back of this um, this is the back of the yellow body template that I have created okay so I'm going to glue the whole entire back of it and then I'm going to put you down by the branch because our bird is going to be sitting on a branch okay so it should be really cute by the end of this project. Just make sure your pages don't stick too much, okay? All right, and while we're down there gluing on pieces, I can glue my kind of tulip shaped one. I know this is kind of a silly shaped one, so if you guys feel like you wanna cut some off to make it a little bit smaller, feel free to. I think that's what I'm going to do just because that's a really big tail for this little tiny bird. Okay, and so if you can pull that up just a little bit so that you can attach it all the way, there is our bird body and our bird tail right there. Then what we're going to do is we're going to attach our bird head on the front side, okay? So what you're going to do here is you're going to glue the back of your bird head, whichever color that you decided to color it. And I'm going to add it to the front of mine right here. Ha ha! Okay, and now that we have most of our things 
um, taken care of. I'm going to bring it up to speed a little bit up here, okay? So um, this is what I have so far. Um, what we are going to need to add is googly eyes. So during that break, I also went and got um, googly eyes. You only need to add one googly eye for this. So I'm going to find one big googly eye to add. Um, and if you don't have googly eyes at home, just use a pen or a marker. Oop, that one fell on the ground. I'm going to use this one instead. Okay. So I have one googly eye on my bird so far. See that? And then there's one little piece that I didn't include in the template and that was making a bird beak. And so feel free to use any scraps of paper that you have. I saw over there when I was going to get googly eyes that we had this orange tissue paper. So I'm actually just gonna use this while we have a little bit of time, okay? I'm just going to cut it into a little bit of a triangle. So I have a little beak here that can open up if I want it to, or it can stay nice and closed. And then I'm going to do that here. on my picture. I'm having some trouble with my glue stick and this is something that we might all run into, okay? So that sometimes you get your, your uh, hands gluey and this one, it can open up a little bit if I wanted to, but you can also just put um, a little triangle there and color it orange if you wanted, right? Now the other, the last templates that we had in our um, sheet there is we had these little leaves, okay? So what I'm gonna do real quick is I am going to just color, set this aside real quick. This is something if you are waiting to do this project until the very end, then you can wait to color all your pieces together at one time. Um, I forgot to color them before I cut them out. So I'm just gonna color them real quick with a marker. Remember, again, you can use color pencils, crayons, even different colored paper if you want. And also, leaves aren't all the same color. So I'm going to be using um, like a lime green one as well. And then I'm going to add that onto my design here, okay? So I'm gonna glue the back of it and then I'm gonna include these little leaves onto the branches here because it's not often do we see just bare, bare branches here in Washington, all right? So I'm gonna include that, glue it onto my picture. Let's bring it down a little bit so you guys can see it. Feel free to overlap them. I include, included quite a few leaves and so, um, don't feel like you just have to use three because that's what I'm using in my example. There's lots of leaves there that you can include. And this one up here. All right. So now what we have here is we have our little bird, our spring bird here on a branch. Um, you guys can also feel free to color in this branch. I think after I'm done with this video, I'm going to take some time to color it in. Um, maybe some browns, different hues of brown. So maybe like a light brown and a dark brown. I'm also, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to add some clouds in the sky. And just because I don't have um, a white marker, I am just going to use um, a gray one, or a black pencil, I think. All right, bring it on back up here, guys. 
So this is the final product. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. This is a super cute spring bird that we have here. Um, I love the little designs on it because this is something that you can make your own, but you can also um, you know, use your imagination if you want, or you can use the designs that we have provided for you. But I'm really excited to share this craft for you. I'm glad that you guys came to my crafting corner um, today, and I hope to see you guys again soon. We'll see you later. Goodbye.